the lap and Risk and Coe to go inside the final half furlough. Emma Lamp, oh, she's been and she's lost her rider, and she's given the race to Risk and Coe, has she? Because staying on his honorary gift, goodness me, honorary gift has been Risk and Coe. Down to the second last. The leader here is still Jumping Jack in the red and white silks, but he's unseen his rider on the approach towards the second last. Jumping Jack, he's still not going to be able to win a race. Outside of Marta Ford and Lofgren at the second last, he's gone. Oh, he didn't deserve to do that. Sirius Marivia out of the contest and David Bass had nowhere to go but the floor. There's Rails, they're over. Chuck Meister makes a mistake and has gone. Oh, but what a recovery. It's still costing the race, but they're still travelling pretty well, that trio. But uh, the line dance is going violently to the left and eventually he has indeed jumped off the course. Big question mark. Goodness me, Haley! Oh my! That that deserves some sort of award. That's unbelievable. That some stop that Bob, wasn't it? That was unbelievable. That is some stop that. That is Ali Dion. These are the two leaders ahead of Lancelot Lord as they jump the ditch. Oh, nearly out. Oh, we nearly lost one. We, it's a great recovery by Lancelot Lord, Charlie Todd. He went out the side door. Okay, find a nice rhythm on the way in. Right, don't set her alight. <laughs> right. The previous race at Ripon, which was a bloodless success for two good to Duterte, it was so easy he decided he'd better keep running, but uh, on a serious note, it, it was very nearly a very serious incident because the other ships were rested this week, but thankfully didn't make it out of the race track. Right on the left is Gallego de Rock in the black with the white sleeve over his fence. And a mistake that time by Baron Days, another great recovery. Baron Days' rider performed a minor miracle to stay on board there. Josephine Gordon, here in the yellow and red colours highlighted on the rear rail, had a horrible few moments. In the second race on the day, aboard a horse called Colour Force, as you can see, she nearly came off. She just clung on right the way around the horse's neck and potential disaster averted there, showing amazing skill to cling on there to her mount underneath her. Oh, look at this. Now, one of our politicians was recently in trouble for describing somebody as a herbivore, which is perfectly legitimate thing to be. I'm not sure if Whip Nene is a herbivore though. He looked like a carnivore there, Whip Nene, going for a, trying to take a chunk out of City Dreamer. So Kieran O'Neill have got two days. I think the horse should have got a couple of days. Should he try to take a chunk out of poor old City Dreamer there? So.